There are two additional options when you want to add new pages, the fully page embed and the new menu section. Let's first show the full page embed. So when you choose this option, it's going to ask you to name your page. I'm going to name this doodles period one and click done. And then you'll notice it makes your new page right here underneath pages. Here it is over to the side. We can choose to add an embed code or we can even add a file from our Google Drive. I'm going to show the add embed code. So here you can add it from a URL or the actual embed code. So I'm going to show this option here. I have a Google Slides show here. I'm going to come to File, go to Share, and Publish to the Web. Here you'll see you have the option to insert a link or I'm going to come here to the embed code. I choose my size from the drop down here. Then I can choose, or this has multiple slides, so I'm going to choose to advance the slides every three seconds. Keep it at the default. Then I have the option to click to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads and then to restart it. And that, once I've checked all my options, creates my embed code here. So I'm going to select all this and copy it. Control C. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Come back to my website and I'm going to paste the code here. Control V. Then I'm going to go ahead and click next. See that it'll kind of insert it here and I'm going to click on insert. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish my website because I want to view this published. It shows here that I did make a change to this page. Click publish. And then I'm going to click up here to view the published website and you'll see now it has embedded my Google slideshow that automatically changes the slides every three seconds. It's embedded right within this page and you'll see the page right up here doodles P1. Now let's look at the other option for the new menu section. I'm going to give you a visual first of what this means to kind of help you understand it. So if I come to this school website Notice across the top how you see these different items listed across the top. Some have an arrow next to them, which means underneath this technology section, there's a bunch of different pages. So let's look at this about us. In the past, you had to create a page in order to get one of these menu items at the top. So you can see this about us just says Mulaski Junior High School. I have to actually click on the arrow and choose one of the websites underneath. So that's what a new menu item is. Instead of this being an actual page, we can just create a menu item. So I'm going to come here and choose new menu section. I'm going to call this doodles and click done. So now you'll notice if I click on home up here, it takes me to the home page. If I click on doodles P1, it brings me to this. If I click on doodles, nothing happens. It's actually not a page. It's just a menu across the top. So now I'm going to take this doodles for my period one and I'm going to put it underneath by just left clicking and dragging it and dropping it right on top of the doodles. So now you can see what happens is it's created that drop down arrow. So this is doodles for period one. Then I can add additional new pages and call this like doodles period, oops, period two. And then same thing. I can take that if I want and left click, drag it and move it right underneath. And so again, now I have doodles period one, period two. So that's just a different option on how to create these across the top. Sometimes you may want it to be an actual page. Like if we come back here and we go to the parents page, we'll click here and this actually tells us some different things on the parents page. Same thing like with this pride. If we click on this, it actually tells us what the pride stands for. So you do have different options. You can actually create a page or you can just make all those headers across the top as menu headers. To learn more about the other two options, new page and new link, you will need to watch my other YouTube video.